12 million people call the capital city of Manila in the Philippines home. In past years, this developing megacity has grown to be one of Asia's fastest growing economies. Heartbreakingly, many who live here are being left far behind in abject poverty. 37% of the entire population exists below the poverty line. Return to a land called Paraiso, a place where a dying river ends. No birds there fly over Paraiso, no space allows them the smoke that screens the air, the grass that's never there. This is Carissa, barely nine years old. She calls Tondo, one of Manila's largest garbage collecting areas, her home. Reality hits hard when the children like Carissa. These filthy mounds of trash are her playground. The hunger in her belly her teacher, the smog, her sky. What is it like living in this area? In the area of... Wala ko na po, nakakatakot po. Saka nakita nyo naman po yung paligid namin, narugin. Kaya po, hindi ko po sila pinapalabas. Dito lang po sila naglalaro. Lalo na po ngayon, delikado. Kasi maraming masasama sa naba. More and more children are being born into this grim reality without a choice and without a voice. Their parents more often than not have not much or very little to offer them. Limited by lack of education and lack of action from those who could help, families are doomed to repeat the cycle of too many mouths to feed and too little income. If only these children had the chance that every child should, access to an education, to opportunities that would allow them to better themselves and their families. The chance to learn. The chance to dream. And so, the Paraiso Bright Beginnings Project was born. with Young Focus, an organization that strives to provide free and accessible education to the youth of Smoky Mountain. The idea really was to set up a student center and a center where kids could uh, use a computer room, they could use a library, they could study together. And uh, yeah, the idea was to give them sponsorship to go to school, but beyond that, um, to really coach them as well and give them tutorials in English and math, life skills, and really build their confidence. After seeing that their current establishments could only cater to so many children, we both partnered in the goal of acquiring another building so that more children could have the chance of an education. We had some colleagues who were involved in school sponsorship and we saw that they were being more effective because uh, if you give someone an education, they can, that's the long-term answer. And coming back here, uh, and seeing that theory, it's not just a theory, it's happening. And the fact is um, that these, these kids who turn into young adults, obviously, if you gave, give those kids a chance, an opportunity, they fly. To procure the new building, various fundraising efforts will be carried out, such as benefit auctions, benefit concerts, as well as donations and private sponsors. I'm so excited to share with you that the funds raised through these various efforts have allowed us to procure this building right here, this three-story building that will be renovated and become the new child care and preschool center for the youth of Smoky Mountain. Woo! 
This will actually allow for the capacity of 80 children to be expanded up to 400, which is so wonderful that they can all have this chance to experience and have an education. This building may not look like much. There is a lot of work to be done, but with a lot of hands, a lot of hard work and a little love, this really has the potential to become a wonderful learning center for the children of Smoky Mountain. Together with a group of local volunteers and parents, we have joined hands to set out to transform this rundown set of apartments into a bright learning center to capture and nurture the minds of the children. by Philippine architecture space within a space with the following spaces of family waiting and assembly area, reading and library area, open study areas, open play area, faculty area, and multi-purpose roof deck. As well as the building itself, what truly makes this place of learning special is what is taught within these walls. We focused on a learning program that develops the children's critical thinking skills by giving them opportunities to explore, question, and play. Children are active rather than passive. We call the preschool program Child Care Plus. Children learn academics through hands-on experiences such as writing exercises, poetry time, visual arts, storytelling, nutrition time with the mothers, reading, language, math, and Filipino in creative study time, creative playing time, and the movement and sensory play through performance. To see the amazing transformation that this building has undergone when we first saw it, it was a place that was very run down, very dirty, but now look at it. It is a home of smiles and happy children and this just fills me with so much fulfillment and joy. A dream, their dreams, can now be nurtured, developed, and encouraged in a safe learning environment. We are working towards a brighter tomorrow for these children, these leaders of tomorrow, because they have been given a chance to have a brighter beginning.